Burning It Down is a hit single for country artist Jason Aldean, uh, but the song was actually written by the two guys from Florida Georgia Line, Brian Kelly and Tyler Hubbard, along with Chris Tompkins and Rodney Clawson. Uh, this should be a pretty quick study all the way around. Acoustic players will tune down to E-flat standard tuning, but once we're there, we'll only have four chords, one chord progression, and one strum pattern to learn. Lead players only have three different easy-to-learn patterns. Alright, make sure you head over to sixstringcountry.com and get your guitar into E flat standard tuning. Uh, when you've got it tuned right, you should be able to play an E minor 7 chord and have it sound like this. That's also the first chord that we'll need for this song. So that's low E string is open. Then we have second fret of A, second fret of D, open G string. Ring fingers on the third fret of B, and pinky is on the third fret of high E. Then we're going to leave our ring finger and our pinky finger right where they are and uh, we'll head over to the C2 chord which is the 3rd fret of A, 2nd fret of D, open G, ring finger and pinky are the same on the 3rd frets. Then we'll move over to the standard G, ring finger and pinky stay the same again and now we've got 3rd fret of low E, 2nd fret of A, open D, open down, 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 up, up, down, down. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. There are three different patterns that we're going to learn on the lead guitar that are going to get us through this whole song. The first one is actually a loop that happens over and over and over again throughout the song uh, with no exceptions. So for this one we're going to want the pickup selector to be all the way up to the neck pickup. And the most important effect to have on this is uh, a phase pedal. It sounds to me like there's a pretty heavy phase going on and then a good amount of distortion, maybe a little reverb, uh, maybe a little delay. And so it looks like this. If you had a setup to where you had a loop station or some way to loop that live, uh, you could just let that loop throughout the whole song and then play these other two patterns over top of that. Uh, but if not, you can kind of bounce around between the three of the different... we're going to learn comes in for the choruses. We're going to switch our pickup selector over to uh, the bridge pickup. And we're going to do a lot of volume swelling with this little pattern. It looks like this. One more time. All right, so we're going to do one volume swell uh, per lick for this section, this pattern. Uh, the first one, we're going to swell in on the 14th fret of the high E string. Pull off to the 13th fret and slide down with the ring finger to the 11th fret. So one more time. I kind of like my volume uh, knob here to be about halfway up already when we start. Swell it in. Same thing here. We're going to go one, two, three, go. Go. 